the sun is about to come up. We went last night to that little village over there. It's so cute actually. And had nice dinner and wine and we met some new friends from Trifecta and over there oh this is the bay of Saint Tropez and over there is Saint Tropez itself but look at our neighbor wow we are two crazies from South Africa that is Frick and Pietru, we decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full-time on our new home, Sisu. Today is the race of the classics. We're going to join, not join them, we're going to go to the starting block see these guys in action at 11 o'clock these guys oh well, I say modern boats so I would take then that is a modern boat it is a trimaran looks fast we also have a pink one with dagger boards so I assume they are also going to go fast And that is Ikigai. And there's another Tiger board catamaran. The start of the day at the races. <laughs> We're lifting anchor. And there's a lot of boats there on the horizon already. So I hope we get a good spot. And it won't appear, or doesn't appear like this guy is getting ready, and I'm sure that he qualifies as being a classic, so he's just not doing it. We were going to shout for our neighbor. Okay, it looks like they're going to start very soon. Uh, it looks so beautiful, the sails is up. So we are here, the regatta for the modern boats is going to start very soon. So lots of sails, sails of Saint Tropez. So this guy I think would fall under the classic section. How sweet is that? It reminds you of like a Chinese or a Japanese boat, eh? It's sail. So beautiful to see all these sails here. These are the ones you were talking and about. And a lot of spectators as well. And look at this classic. There's a couple of guys that are putting already on big sails. That looks like one starter boy. And I think they no. I don't know, where's the other one? Only one must be a different start time because they'd all be powering the line. Maybe it's been delayed or something. We're going to need it two days on the boat if you want the way. Two days? It's a beautiful boat, but I mean, I'm getting a very good deal. It's a good deal. I'm thinking of you here. I'm losing. I'm going to be coming back to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not even your women to bet with, Mac, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm telling you, there's nothing in the deal. I'm throwing an unseen third as well, but honestly. Thank 
Okay, these guys are getting Your ready. Some of them is going back because they just the announced a starting the order. And there's some spectators so in the middle. And look at this guy, he's coming in like a... This is the old town of Saint-Tropez and this is what this race is all about, the sales of Saint-Tropez. Beautiful, just so many sails. So it's a modern boat, so it's going to take off first. Really? Start is about to happen. Saint Tropez, end of the season sailing regatta. All right, they're yeah. first of 10 tacks to get out of the bay. I think some of them are going to oh, race all wow. the way over there. Yeah, the ones attacked. Haven't all those things been stuck? So we have a, mi a minute. These guys need to crawl because that is the, one of the starting boys. So they must go as slow as possible. You can see they're all so bunching together the there. The guy that actually has because that is the best line to get through. So if you can go through there, then you you have the best line, apparently. Not that I'm an expert in racing, but yeah. So those little boats they all try to get as close as possible to that line to 
to get an advantage. So we have front seats here. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. How much wind before they say race off? Pietro is happy. <laughs> <laughs> These beautiful birds, I started. Like in a race. So the race is on for the classics. Or at least one of the classic classes. But look at that. Some of them are really getting speed. These guys are waiting for their chance. And the wind is not much, so I think everyone is kind of like just saying it is a it is a gentleman's race. It's the last race of the season. It's end of sailing season. So let's do it. Yeah, the true wind is not, uh, it's not much, right? It's definitely not much. So, but these guys are going into the race and they are racing. And they're doing not too bad. I don't think we will do that. Attention for l'avertissement des blancs verts. 
Signal up. White and green, they are moving at a blasting speed. That's all these guys, the last of the group is now setting off. Now we can see that the wind is not that good because even though that we had idle speed at 1.8 knots, these guys need to attack very seriously. Uh, that is Sandro Pai at the back of that sails and this is actually the regatta called Sails of Sandro Pai. So we're now getting to the point where the boats are returning. The red boat almost overtook the black boat but the black boat was on the leeward side so it stole that guy's win. So that is the winning one and we're not really interested in the winning one. So we are chasing these two because these two are, are really, really intriguing. They almost overtook each other and now they are they're doing little four knots in three knots of wind. And look, these guys have 3.0, 2.6 in this wind. It is crazy. So these guys, look at them. All on one side doing six knots this is classic look these guys are going to overtake them ah oh, look at that look at that look at that so Italy against France the two black sails of course the leader is also French very far ahead so this is now nail biting stuff for second position. That's Saint Tropez at the back. The sales of Saint Tropez is the decision for second. Who is going to be the second? Is it going to be Italy or is it going to be France? The red boat here in front, here on our side, is Italy, and the other one is France. It seems like Italy is in her in front of the race. They got it. They got it. I think they got it. I don't know why we're rooting for Italy, but it's <laughs> apparently we do. <laughs> uh, so the red boat is from Italy. If you look there on the, on the sail, that's Italy. And that one is from France. And uh, that one over there is the leader. Already finished the boat, uh, the race. And these two is going to finish the crossing line very soon. No, so we don't know who where's the between, winning line, but, between, no, but the, the red boat is again in the in the back. Oh man, yeah, that was this sport. Yeah. very close. It's not gonna be mainstream until we can clean some of this stuff up. Hello, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah. Are you? <laughs> okay, so talk about talk about the dinghy chaps again. <laughs> you were doing so great until I switched on the camera. Exactly. <laughs> stage shot. That's why oh, I told you. I should not have told you. No. Okay. What the hell's up with all the red, white, and, and the green and the brown? And they match up. Are you dumping the water out of the camera? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that that is Mike. Hi. This is a troublemaker. <laughs> yeah. He is a troublemaker. He put the dinghy on the wrong side of the boat no, so that not me. Mm, so that Matt he's thought Matt. his boat is wrong. Yeah, Matt knew his boat oh, was wrong. I was trying to teach him a lesson. Matt. Me, that is like that me. is definitely <laughs> classic Matt. <laughs> okay, so we're on our way to Saint Tropez, somewhere there. Hopefully we'll get back. So, tell us about the insurance issue. Yes, tell us. Salvage cover. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Matt. Yeah. In French. Yeah, tell us. Oh, <laughs> oui. um, bonjour, uh, je m'appelle Matt. Uh, That's je m'appelle je Matt. Yeah. Uh, le bateau est uh, très chic. Il est non bien. Pas de bien. Is uh, here for two years. And do 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 I know? Do I know? Yeah. And, uh, uh, Lionel in the shops, uh, the companies. Can you tell us, what was the captain doing at the time? Ah, uh, right. Uh, the captain at the time was, uh, sleeping. <laughs> yes. Sleeping? Yeah, he was very much asleep, I mean, my, and then... My guess is it's drug anchor, right? Yeah, that's just my guess. Right here. Drug anchor and just drug flew anchor. on here? I mean, if you were here in the, in the winter, I'm even worried to go with the dinghy further. So shallow it is it already. How do you drag anchor all the way to here if it's so shallow? Must have a very small anchor. <laughs> San Trope. So, but it is like everyone is coming in at the same time. Whoa! All of, all of the Rolex, Rolex flags. We gotta, we gotta steal one of those Rolex flags for that. Yeah, just. Yo. So, this. Marina is live. Classic boat. I need to run it, eh? I need to T-bone it. Yes. <laughs> Just look at that. One of them is a winner of experience. Yes. Just look where Tapex is. It's so cool. It is just so cool. Between all the real sailors. Yeah, no, I think. Okay, so. <laughs> From this direction, what? The, the Please comment below what you think this is. And then from this way, this way, yeah, we can see it's it's something else. But what was your original thoughts? Please comment below. So these guys taking sailing seriously. Look, all the oh, it's North Sails. North Sails has been packed up. Yeah, there's lots of things happening here. We need to keep the women at bay. They all just want to veer off into a shop. Right? Yeah, it's like need to have lots of reins here. Man, this is this is cute. Saint Tropez. Yo. Oh. 
Is this going to be expensive or not? I think this is going to be expensive. Lots of French people playing balls. There's big balls. Heavy balls. Look at this nice place, yeah. Matt said this is your vibe. I love it. It's really nice. And I don't yeah. have a camera with me. You have to take a picture. Yeah, those are so cool nice. And then look inside like too. Cute. It's so nice. Not yet. I'm working on it. Oh. Yeah, it's like a dog alley. Not a very dark, dark place, but <laughs> yeah, look. Is it, is it, is it? If they have a dress code, we're in trouble. Oh. You're good. A dress code. Sure. like a very fancy place. Yeah. So we on our way to do some provisioning and then we go to lift anchor. So this is over there and we're going to get some beer because we're going to have a two day sail ahead of us. So we tied the picks off between these lovely old classics. <laughs> so it was like a little bit of a, a contra. Um, you see these lovely boats and, and the picks is lying over there. Between all the media and the stuff. So we while I, oh, while I prepare for the race, we prepare for a passage. So we in search of the of the casino <laughs> a casino but it is actually a grocery store and well, we found it it's over here just look at that we just met one of our friends here and it was an awesome day awesome thank you very much thank you too so thank you. maybe maybe you should introduce yourself just a little bit i uh, well i'm mark and uh i'm uh, I'm French, of course. I live here, <laughs> and I, I can't wait to to meet uh, uh, Pietro and Frick because uh, I follow us uh, uh, from many many months now. And, uh, it's more than a year, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of and he, course. And he's got my name right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's that's Thank not you. easy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you that's too. Awesome. Thank yeah. you too. So we are ready. We set up all our things for the code D to go up but we have a little bit of a problem right now if we put it up and there's something going wrong then we will have all of these boats to to manage or to avoid but also they need to avoid us and so we're not going to put the code D up until we pass this this race and it seems like again all the classic boats are getting ready you can see awesome sails over there already so this was saint -Tropez. we just did our provisioning here in saint -Tropez. so this is really 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 oh super expensive place but it was it was very cool to see how saint -Tropez looks